Hello guys and welcome back to Mel's Daily. Thank you guys so much for coming back and watching my vlogs. Today we have Jillian joining us and he's been joining us for the past couple of vlogs. Because um, he's been main topic of our lives right now, which I love and look how cute he is. Look how cute you are, you little chunky monkey. I gave him a bath this morning and I put him back into some new pages because it's a little gloomy day and we're just cozy today. But I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys my favorite newborn and baby essentials and postpartum essentials. I know there's so many baby things out there, so many, I should say, baby products out there, um, a lot more than what I have and I'm sure would be amazing, but these are just a few things that I love. Let's put you in the bouncer. How about that? Let's put you in the bouncer. Mama loves you. I want to kiss you, but I have lipstick on. Let's do that. Oh, I know, I know. It's getting a little bit fussy. It's almost is nap time, but I just wanted to share with you guys all the newborn stuff and postpartum stuff that I really, really love. Uh, we're going to have Julian be next to us in his little bouncer, so if you hear noises, that's what it is. Um, And yeah, so let's get started. So first thing I want to start off with is clothing, some of my favorite clothing that I received um, from my baby shower or I purchased and I really love all is it not time soon? I know, I know what's wrong? I need a diaper change I'm just gonna show you guys the most affordable ones that I love okay, we're going down for a nap alright, we took a little break and I fed him and I swaddled him with this little swaddle which I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and I forgot to mention to you guys about the mother's milk tea I love his mother's milk tea and you can just add a little bit of honey or if you want it sweet or whatever I prefer just plain as is I've been noticing a huge difference anyway just grab your cup of coffee, grab your cup of tea, and come join me. So I wanted to start off with pieces of clothing that I really, really love for Julian or for babies. There is a lot of brands that are really, really nice, but they're just like so expensive, like 30 bucks for a PJ for a baby that's literally going to grow out of it in two weeks or three weeks. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so some stuff I honestly found by that like Goodwill or uh, my baby shower or just get on sale. One of my very favorites is this one's actually from Old Navy and I want to go get a whole bunch. It's ribbed, but it's just super, super light and thin. It reminds me of the Kite Baby onesies um, and it just zips down and it covers his hands and it doesn't constrain him. Like I feel like some of them just like if I put the hand coverings on him, like it's just so tight. Yeah, it just like, I don't like it when stuff is super tight on him. So I love this onesie, one of my faves. We have the Loved Baby. I got this as a gift at my baby shower and literally obsessed with this one. It's super, super soft. He already grew out of it. It's zero to three months, but well, it's like really tight on him already, but it's one of my favorites. And then H&M has been one of my favorites for baby clothes. I feel like this needs to be adjusted a lot. So I got him these onesies and they're ribbed. I think I talked about it in my last vlog. I don't remember, but I got long sleeves previously. And these are super easy, especially during nighttime. Take him out of a swaddle or whatever and unbutton the bottom so you don't have to take him like his hands out and stuff same with these one the only thing is sometimes his foot will like get stuck but i love that that one you just need to find like pants for it and then um this one is my favorite this one's actually from amazon it's on the thicker side but if you have like during the winter time and if you have ac running it's perfect it also has the handcuffs um, love love these now the next thing that i really 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 like is um the these socks from amazon they come with a whole bunch of different sizes different colors and I love that there's a lot of neutral colors with th these little orange just reddish burnt orange which I'm not a fan of orange but I like this orange these are my favorite I even put it on his hands as hand like cuffs is that how you say it so he doesn't scratch himself because he's been scratching himself so much even though I cut his nails and it's very difficult to cut his nails because he is a squirmy boy but these have been my favorite I also ordered this beanie it's by the company slouch I found them on Instagram um, it's a thicker beanie um, but I know it's gonna last him for so long and I used it in his newborn photos at the hospital we took photos I have one and I want to get more colors but this has been my favorite and I know for Washington weather for the fall and winter time Literally, he's gonna wear these all the time. Now, moving on to like blankets and swaddles and bark cloths. These are from Amazon. Uh, from my registry, someone got them for me, but I got the white ones and then I got these tan ones, which are nice. And I have a whole bunch, I have them throughout the house. 
They're so easy to wash. They're soft and they like fit perfectly over the shoulder. When he was a newborn, I would always do this. And now he's been splitting up a lot too, especially when I burp him. Now, the next thing is swaddles. In the beginning, I used the jersey ones, which I still love. The only thing is now he's more squirmy. He's more like wiggly than he was before. He's two months and two weeks. So he like his hand will come out all the time. So I had to like look into get it, getting other ones, which I'll show you what I got. But I literally love these jersey ones. They're just so easy to swaddle him with. Um, and they're just so soft and they have the cutest colors. So I'll link everything down below for you guys. And then um, I also like these, but I use this more as a like throw on over the car seat, um, especially since it's warm outside. And if we're like outside and then all of a sudden in the store, I'll just throw this on his legs. Cause you know how in the store it gets a little bit colder. It's just a lot more thinner. And I have a whole bunch of colors in these. This is by the Mushy brand, but I recently got a pack of three with or four different colors, which I'll link down below, are super cute and perfect. So since I don't do the jersey swaddles anymore, oh, my friend actually recommended me these and I got these in a bigger size three to six months because the zero to three months were going to be too small for him. He's very long. I got these swaddles. They come in a pack of three. There's a polka dot one, which is my favorite. I think that one's downstairs. And then I have the star one and he's wearing the plain one. And I have them throughout the house, like one downstairs, two, one in our bedroom and one in like the loft or whatever, where we hang out throughout the day. I love 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 these are so easy to swaddle him in and it's so easy to do diaper changes because you can just pull the bottom and you don't have to unlike unswaddle him while he's sleeping throughout the night after his feeding i like to change him like not at after every feeding but usually i'll change him and it's just so much easier they're called the ellie's and co one I got this like last month because he got some blankets for from his um, baby shower which I really like, they look knitted and stuff, but I wanted to get him like a soft blanket and the one that I wanted is really pricey so I found a dupe. I love this color but it's just this little baby blanket and it's literally this small. It's so perfect. I have this blanket on him all the time. And I'll bring it with me like around the house and everything like I'll lay him on it, I'll swaddle him in it. If you hear snoring, he fell asleep. One of those things as a mom, I'm like, but do I want to bring him into his room? I'm in his room, but into another room where it's dark. I put the sound machine on, but if I transfer him, he's going to wake up. So we're just going to let him. He needs to learn to sleep through like loud noise and not get so used to like quiet, quiet, you know? Anyways, this blanket is so cute and it's so soft. So here's the thing. I really wanted the Solly Baby Wrap. Instead, I found this one on Amazon. It's called the Moby Wrap and I've used it a couple times already. He, I feel like he doesn't really like them because I don't put him in them as often. But I got this Moby, Moby baby wrap, which is so long, but I really like it. It's not super thin like the Solly baby ones, but it's not super thick. We also have the Eco baby one, which I'll insert a picture here. Um, we used that like for five seconds and he wasn't feeling it, but I feel like it's because he wanted to nap and he was just tired, so it's just the wrong timing. But we're definitely gonna use it when we're gonna go more into the mountains and like walking and stuff. He just doesn't really hold his head as much, so we don't wanna go to the mountains and hiking yet. Oh, the only thing I don't like about it is this huge warning tag. I kinda have to hide it. Hope I'm including everything I remember. I did a list, but obviously mom brain, you forget things. We love this camera. So my husband did a lot of research on which cameras to get. I wanted to get the camera without the screen at first, but then I started hearing that they were getting hacked and that's kind of creepy. We got the Eufy security one, which is amazing. It's so easy to transfer from room to room. Um, and then it comes with this little screen. It's probably as big as my phone. I have the iPhone 12, just the regular one. So really recommend. And then um, we have two sound machines. So we have we have the hatch one, which I'll insert a picture um, here or there, I don't know where, but that one's my favorite. We have that one in our room and I don't really move it around the house. And then we have called Hush by Yoga Sleep. It's also from Amazon. Okay, like half my stuff or all my stuff is from Amazon. But this one's amazing because you can clip it anywhere around the house, wherever I go. And we live in a two-story house, so you kind of need like double of, which I'll mention probably a ton of times 
and so this one's nice to just like carry with me when I go downstairs. I have downstairs for the day instead of going upstairs. So this works great and you can just throw it in your diaper bag. The next thing I wanted to talk about is my diaper bag. First I did not know what diaper bag to buy. I did a lot of research, asked around and stuff and I found that this one was the cutest, more sturdy and um, yeah so I got this one. And I so this is the Ayla and Co diaper bag. As you can tell, it's pretty packed. I really, really like it because it opens from the front like this, and you can actually reach stuff. The font design ones were really nice, but the reason why I didn't like them is because they were super, super flimsy. So I wanted something more sturdy because I know like towards after like second or third baby, it's going to become a little bit more flimsy. This one's really, really, really nice. So there's a front pocket. I always store a hand sanitizer with me to have on the go, and then I have a always have some type of bars so I have that in the front I usually have my wallet I'll have some like Advil Tylenol and then I'll have like a scrunchie so that's what I'll keep in the front and if they just have so many different pockets which I'll probably do a little which I'll insert a video of like more in depth of the paper bag but yeah there's just so many pockets in the front to have and it's nice to have it so you can just like quickly reach for your phone or quickly reach for hand sanitizer. Also, the color I'm obsessed with, I wanted originally to get like the brownish one, they were out of stock because I'm like, I'm gonna tag this along, it's gonna get dirty, but this is so easy to wipe. Like there's even some marks on the side that I need to kind of clean, but the other, like last time I like spilled something on it, wiped it, it all went away. Just love this bag and it has these pockets on the side which you can open to kind of make it bigger so your water bottle can fit. I open the front, the inside comes out, which is really cool. I already spilled my breast milk inside. I didn't have it secured in the bag and so I just took the, the lining off, threw it in the wash, washed it, dried it, cleaned out the bottom and perfectly fine no smell nothing but I usually have like a swaddle um and this is the one of the swaddles I was talking about that it's included in the four pack that I really like it's like the light swaddle I have to have in the go and then I love these water wipes I bring them with me all the time we have them throughout the house one thing I kind of don't like is that they're super thin because I, I got the Huggies one gifted to me um, and those are thicker, but other than that, these are nice. I have a pair of my favorite socks and a whole bunch of diapers because there's always accidents. Talking about diapers, for some reason, I don't like the Huggies red box. I like the Huggies light green box, and I've tried so many diapers already to see what I like, and I think those are my favorite, so just a little side note. I'll have a little pouch of just my stuff, um, lipstick, pads, some Advil, stuff like that. And then I'll always have some type of outfit just in case. I'll have, if we go somewhere for a really long time, I'll have two outfits, but I have, so this is the long sleeve one I was talking about with some shorts because we recently went somewhere warm. So when we go on the go, I try to bring my own breast milk because I don't like to breastfeed him in public. So they, it comes with this um, removable refrigerator bag or like a cooler, I guess you can say, and it stores the milk and it's nice and cold. But yeah, so this attaches in there, you can take it out and wash it, and it just comes with a lot of different um, compartments, which is nice. Back to the back, there's like a side pocket here, you can store stuff in there, and then there's a back to it as well, which I keep this pad that came with it, so whenever we go out in public, it grosses me out, like the bathrooms where you change the baby, the changing station are always disgusting, so I'll leave him on this, and then if it's cold, I'll put a blanket on him, but this has been literally a lifesaver so many places we've been. So this bag is really nice because it's a backpack, and then it could also be a side bag. But yeah, I love it, and this is the bigger size. They have a mini. The mini would have been way too small for him. Probably would get the mini in the future when he's a little bit bigger, but... Definitely recommend. Moving on to bottles. At first I would give him these ones. So there's a bigger one and there's a smaller one because it represents like the nipple and like the boobs, it's bigger. The only thing is at first the hole was just, 
I guess the just the milk was squirting out way too fast and he would always choke and now it freaked me out even though I got the zero to three nipple part so I stopped using these and then I got the Dr. Brown ones which are really 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 liked I recommend these two it is the LV pump I literally don't know what I would do without it I know that some people buy two I think one is perfectly fine because I would just pump on one side and feed him on the other side so it's, it's really practical I can bring I can walk around the house get stuff done and pump it's amazing however it doesn't suction like crazy if you have like a really bad milk duct I would just use my um, Medela one but that one's annoying because you just have to sit there and hold it unless you get one of those special bras so that one I have still and I used in the beginning to kind of get my milk going. But now I've tossed this in my bag wherever I go and it's literally the best thing ever. Recommend the LV pump. I know there's a Willow pump. I have not tried it, but I've heard really good things about it. So I'm sure it's like pretty similar. I heard that it holds a lot more milk because this holds up to four ounces. Um, so maybe that would be better. I have two caddies. I have this gray one and a tan one, which the tan one is so much cuter to me, but this one's bigger and it's upstairs. So I'm just going to show you guys that, show you guys what's in it, but I literally don't know what I would have done without it. I carry it from room to room. I'll carry it downstairs, even though we have one downstairs, but we have one downstairs and upstairs. When you have a two-story house, you need to have two of everything because it's so annoying to go upstairs. I'm not just going to, especially when he was little, I didn't want to leave him and Walking with him up and down the stairs, it's just too much, especially when I was recovering. So we always had two of everything. Um, so we'll kind of go over what I have here. And this one stands next to me by, by my bed, so it's easy to reach. I have a whole section um, where I have all of his diapers, and then I have um, the water wipes. Nail filer, electric one. It's easy to file his nails down and to cut them, and it's nice. Oh my goodness, so anything Frida baby... I am obsessed with or freedom mom which I'll mention the freedom mom stuff but I got this this is a lifesaver because it's really hard to clean their nose out sometimes you can't so this is a steel love it um and then the nose Frida nasal spray is literally amazing because I have I got the little remedies one and this one comes out so fast so like it squirts his nose and he starts screaming this one he doesn't really scream from but this is the nose sucker so you'll use the spray or the drops and then you'll suck his nose out which in the middle of the night last night he woke up so congested this saved my butt so it's the best thing and it has a filter so you won't suck you won't get anything in your mouth which is nice and then i have my postnatals which i always drink i drink their prenatals i drink their just the woman one and i highly recommend these right so i really really like these cups i have a few i have a gray one somewhere on it's right here with this and um i really like it the only thing is when he naps i don't i take it out or take it off or i have just regular pacifiers without it because sometimes it'll go like on his neck if i don't clip it or it'll like it would just like looks uncomfortable and i'm just scared so i take it off and then these are my favorite fat pacifiers i use the bibs pacifiers i have them in multiple colors i have them throughout the house and they're just my favorite the thing i have is i have this baby lotion by the honest brand i use their um baby shampoo which i really really like it smells super good so i have that and then i'll have aquaphor um to um for any diaper rashes but i've learned that the dustin actually works better but i'll mainly use this one if he has a diaper rash and he doesn't really get them that often which is really good and then i'll have the linolin nipple cream um i don't use it now but in the beginning i would use it every time after i fed him it was a lifesaver and then this little brush which i love it's super soft um and he has a lot of hair so i always have to brush his hair the next thing i have is this thermometer which is amazing and on amazon i love to have it just in case you never know and then it's cool because it has some side pockets so i'll have myself some so i'll have a little bar or two bars it's nice to have like when you breastfeed sometimes you get really hungry in the middle of the night and then this has been a lifesaver because i don't know it was really colicky in the beginning and i used colicky drops and those ones just didn't help they were the little remedies brand 
and someone mentioned the Mylocon one and it literally it will like put him to sleep and he loves it he like will lick his lips and then like I'll put his pacifier right away and he'll be calm. He loves this stuff. This is the best stuff ever if you have a colicky baby. It helps with gas relief. So it's been one of our favorites. Okay, the next few things I have is these little wood circle things. I got these on Amazon. A lot of them are super cheesy. So I like that these ones were just super, super simple and cute. Um, The next stuff I'll talk about is this bath stuff. So these three things come together. So this is the hair sponge and this is to take out like the dead skin and then this is the brush. I literally use these every time I give him a bath and they're kind of wet right now because I gave him a bath this morning. Um, and then this bathtub has been my favorite thing ever which is crazy because when we first started giving him a bath he was so little and now he's like as big as it. But it's been our favorite. I love it. I, I haven't used anything else. So I can't compare it to anything, but it's been my favorite. Big green pad, which I'm sure you guys seen in my previous vlog. It's cute because it's like gray on the back side and green, so I can just kind of do flip it over. Um, and it's been the best. I'll lay him on it and then I'll put his little play gym um, and he'll play on it. And it's like nice and thick. I'll use it as a diaper. Place where I can change his diaper. So I know a lot of people have like diaper changing stations, but I just think it's so impractical for me. I was gonna get the diaper changing pad, but I'm gonna have to get one downstairs and I always change him in our room or wherever we are. So I don't see a need to getting one. So I just really, really like this pad. So the next thing I'll talk about was some toys. So I got him at this from Amazon and I like it because I can wash it. And uh, they say that usually zero to three or three to six months, I forgot what it was, zero to three or three months, they see black and white in different patterns. And then after that, they'll start seeing color slowly. So there's a few like patches of color. So I'll like hang this on this play gym thingy and he'll just like stare at it or I'll do tummy time and have it just stand up. So this was really nice. And his next thing that we love, huh, Betty? Is this wood play gym, which is so nice. It came with a whole bunch of these attachments. And then my mom got him some cheesy toys because, you know, I want everything aesthetic, but it's not practical sometimes. So I added some of these little guys and he just like lays on his pretty mat and he plays with it. So it's so nice. But yeah, this has been one of our favorites. I'm sure like later on he'll play with it more, but I still have him like look at it. Next things I wanted to talk about is um, more of the bigger, bigger like furniture things that we use, I should say. But I'm gonna just insert clips of it. Um, we really, we really like our bassinets, so we have two. I have the Dua Baby one, which is like the Moses basket, and it like rocks back and forth. We have that one downstairs. And it's been our favorite because I'll put him in it, he'll sleep, and if you wake up or whatever, I'll just kind of rock him in it and he'll go back to sleep. Um, and it's easy to move around downstairs. Um, and then we have the a bassinet from Amazon, and I was researching bassinets for our like, bedside. And this has been a favorite, like I looked on YouTube, because uh, we were almost going to get the Halo one. But this one's amazing because the side like unbuckles um, or goes down, so he's literally almost at level as a bed. It's not exactly the height of the mattress and stuff, but it works and I love it. It's easy to transfer, move around. And it's just like a light color, so it's not anything, it's like not ugly. And I know I'm going to use it for like the next babies. And then the next thing we have is a snuggly. I have two of these. I have this one in birch and a white one. And the white one's in the other bassinet. And this one I have in a crib or I'll carry it around upstairs with me. Because I literally like cuddle them in. Um, and he started to kind of wiggle around and flip. So I kind of like it because it just lays them in one position. So really recommend the snuggle me. Next thing I really like is this baby journal bouncer. It's amazing. I like that it's just minimal and you can change the settings of how high you want it. It's really nice because when he moves around, he bounces himself. So I don't have to sit there bouncing him all the time, but I'll put it on top of the, um, probably not a good idea to say, but I put it on top of the island and I buckle him up while I'm cooking dinner or I'll have him next to me. We also have the, um, I forgot what it's called, but I'll insert it here as well. Um, it's an electric one and it sways and it sings and it has like the sound, um, 
the silent noise and stuff. So I'll have that one. That one's downstairs. I don't want to bring it with me. He really likes that one as well. Do you want your pacifier? And then the last thing that I obviously will not bring up here as well is his Duna stroller, which I love his Duna stroller. It's amazing because it's just easy to take in and out. It's not an extra big piece that I have to keep in the trunk. Um, it's the car seat stroller, so it's a car seat and then turns into a stroller. However, one thing I don't like is that there's not a lot of compartments, areas where I can like throw my diaper bag in, like at the bottom, like usually strollers have. So we got this um, bag, which I'll insert at the bottom, um, where I just have my water bottle on my phone, so when we're pushing him, I can kind of put that there. Other little attachments so you can buy. But other than that, I love, love, love our Duna stroller. So the next stuff I wanted to talk about is the postpartum essential stuff that I really, really liked. To start off with, the Stanley Cups. They're the best. No, I got this when I was pregnant, actually. Um, it was amazing because it's huge and I just fill it up and I don't have to run downstairs a million times to refill it. And it just has a handle, fits in the cup, holder in the car. I love it. The only thing is it was really hard to travel with because it spills. So I recently got this one. Do not regret it. And this is the 30 ounce and this is the 40, I believe. Yeah. I was going to get the 20 ounce and good thing it didn't. But this is the best. I'll have it with me everywhere I go. Throw it in my diaper bag. Put it in the side pocket. When I showed you guys there's like side pockets. It fits perfectly. Literally amazing. And it's so sturdy and it has a straw. These two are the best. So I wanted to start off with saying that I know that the hospital gives you a lot of stuff and I did take that with me home, but I did not like it. I did not like their mesh underwear and so I invested in the Freedom Mom stuff. First of all, Freedom Mom, like, it's probably just all hyped up, but it's the best. I love, love, love these. I don't know what I would have done without these. These are the disposable underwear. Um, however, you can just reuse them a couple times. It's fine unless you're like crazy crazy. But I recommend these and they're just comfortable. They kind of suck you in and keep everything tight. Also loved these ice packs, um, ice pads. So it's an ice pack and a pad. So you don't have to get another pad. You just put everything on it and it tapes down on your um, briefs. The best thing ever. However, I didn't use it that much because I used it in the beginning the couple three days. The thing that I did like from the hospital or that's not for your mom is the dermaplast and then the tux. These have been a lifesaver. If you know, you know. The Freedom Mom Prenatal Cooling Pad Liners were really cool too. I like it because they're just one long one compared to the tux. They're just a whole bunch of circles. These would always fall out. Um, and these ones were a lot better, but I like the the cooling of these ones were better. Does that make sense? Like the feeling of these ones were better. And the Frida Mom Perennial Healing Foam is amazing too. I love, love, love this stuff. So I recommend stuff too. I love the Medela Nipple Shield. Um, if you're breastfeeding, I love, love, love these. Summer Friday Baby Moon Belly Bum. I use this throughout my whole pregnancy and I don't have any stretch marks on my stomach at all. I don't know if it's this cream or it's just genetics or what, but literally obsessed with this stuff. It was so hydrating compared to a lot of the other stuff and it didn't, it didn't feel as sticky. It would like, at first it was like it would stick to clothes, but I, like give it a few minutes and it like soaks into your skin. And, it was amazing. So that I would recommend not only for postpartum or moms, but anyone, are these brushes that come in three different colors. I have the white and gold, the blue and gold, and it comes in pink and gold. I got the white and gold one for me, and the blue one for my husband are the cutest, and they're just so like minimal looking and so like pleasing to look at. So if they're just standing on your um, sink. I think they're super cute just to have out because the other ones I'm always telling my husband, can you just please hide that because it's not cute. It comes with two heads, the main body and the charger station. It comes with the cleaning top and a sensitive top. If you're someone like me that has very sensitive teeth and very sensitive gum, gums, it's very, very, very practical and very good to have. And look at their packaging. It's so stinking cute. Last but not least, Mama's almost done. Love, love these. I don't know why I didn't get them sooner. Got these H&M Mama um, nursing bra tanks. So these were just comfortable to sleep in because bras are so uncomfortable to sleep in. Um, and this felt like it held everything in, but it wasn't too tight. And then I also got the bras that have these as well. 
and the bras that kind of fold yeah. over. Bless you. Because if you're using the LV pump, you need a bra that kind of supports and holds it if you're walking around. So that's why I use the clipped ones, which I'll link. It's basically the same thing as this. It has a clip, but it has padding. But I'm so happy you guys sticked around and watched all my newborn essential, baby essentials, postpartum essentials. I know that there's a lot of moms that are new time moms and are trying to add stuff to their baby registry. I was watching all these YouTube videos, trying to see what, just to see like what people uh, recommend and stuff. And it was really, really helpful. But I hope this is helpful for you guys. And yeah, you wanna say bye? Let's say goodbye. Goodbye now.